that high dose statins are recommended for all patients who are moderately high risk or high risk category. Uh, high risk category includes uh, the coronary artery disease who has already previous MI, acute coronary syndrome, uh, post CABG or uh, post stenting etc. High dose statin that means uh, 40 to 80 milligram of atorva statin or 20 to 40 milligram of uh, rosewa statin. These two statins have been shown a dramatic result uh, in a long term morbidity and mortality benefits. Uh, what should be the duration of high dose statin? Uh, I personally think that once uh, we have started the high dose statin, that means the atorva statin 40 or 80 milligram, then it should be continued for a very long time or might be indefinite. But at least it should be continued for unless the LDL cholesterol should be reduced by 50% of the level. So, I mean the high dose statin are very important in the management of the coronary artery disease. As far as the primary prevention is concerned, the role of the statin is already established for that also. But to a low level of statin. Uh, I mean, you have to calculate the ASCVD risk. In case the risk is more than 7.5, then the role of statin is already there. Then you can start with the low dose statin like uh, 10 to 20 milligram of atorva statin or 5 to 10 milligram of uh, rosewa statin. And uh, it should be continued unless you reach to the target level of uh, LDL cholesterol or total cholesterol. As you know, the coronary artery disease is uh, the prime killer worldwide. Still now, the 30% or more than 30% of the total death are because of the coronary artery disease and uh, sequelae of that. So we have to stop this thing and statin are the major preventer in this field. Thank you very much.